Let's go like that. Yeah. So, it's the beginning of a day. I th Let's see if I can get some. I have no idea. So, say, what's this place? This is the Adventurers Guild. The guild manages expeditions to various untamed wilderness areas or un uh, abandoned ruins near the city. The areas are commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Aw, oh, nuts. So, we can't just go to a dungeon and pick up anything. We see. If we could do that, we could sell everything we get at 100% profit. It is a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, we must first hire an adventurer. Hire? can I just pick anybody? Truth is, matters is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Ooh, so they don't turn... So they turn away people they don't know very well? Indeed, you should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust in them. If all goes well, they will give you a symbol of their guild membership. What? Okay. This usually takes a form of power. With that in hand, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. What? Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood-mad beasts. Attempting to rip you limb from limb. Well, well, whatever. Close enough. The analogy does work somewhat. Right, so first I need to meet an adventurer. Hmm. Which, for us, should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run in an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly regular basis. Oh, yeah. Well, then I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. <laughs> Indeed, just be careful that Reset is not on the menu. Oh, my God. This silliness. Huh? <laughs> is something wrong? Oh, the guy over there. Listen to me. If I can't work, I can't get the money. And if I can't get the money, I can't get the items. And if I can't get the items, apparently I can't work. <laughs> Heaven, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Well, what's going on? He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. You can only work officially for the guild after passing the test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challenges. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I do believe we have found our first adventurer. Oh my. Wait, what do you mean by the... Uh, to your way! Toto! Toto! Son of a... Biz! Ah, well, you know. <laughs> I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. If I can't get in the guild, I don't know what I'll do... I'll even do for dinner money. Um, now I'm hungry. Great. Pardon me a moment, you there, adventurer with that seedy look. Who you calling seedy? Dot dot dot. Uh, there, well, oh. you two would be a pair of merchants who happen to be passing. Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy to buy anything. Believe me, I could tell that by your seedy nature that you're attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Oh lordy. Come on, dear. Stop with the CD already. He is the plant. Are you two gonna prune me or what? Here, oh, this. I, I do like this stuff. This is silly. Do you like it if we came with you to Hall of Trials? If you if you require item, uh, equipment or items, we can provide them. I'll call you a pair of angels then. But why? Business, naturally. We'll help you pass a trial. You provide us with your card. I like it. it. We'll help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon. And then he gives us his card, a sign of eternal friendship. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant. In this case. But it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? Let's see, you guys are pretty new at all this too, huh? How about from Mr. Swordsman, yes or no? Dot, dot, dot. Yes! Alright then, heck, I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yeah, you vacation! That's it! Glad to meet you two, uh... I'm Reset. Nice to meet you. I am dear. Uh, Louie. Louie, huh? Good to meet you. Yes, yes. 
Now then, we will begin the preparations for dungeon, including a visit to Central Market. Okay, I just got an, a theory. Tear there. Oh, I can't even remember that. There's the one um, PS3 game with the the woman. What is her name? That has the hair that turns into like a dragon and whatnot. Doesn't that look kind of similar to Tear? I should know the name of that game, but I don't remember right now. Including a visit to the Central Market to pick up food and other restorative items. We'll return here for you when we are ready. Alright, I'll be waiting here. Food and restorative items. And... and weapons? Hmm? So am I just giving it to him, or what? He is a swordsman, so I figure I'm probably supposed to bring him a sword. <laughs> what? Charms. Restorative items, huh? buy some more stuff. Eh. See, when I give him these items, I'm lending them to him, right? Well, I'm not just straight up. Yeah, I'm lending them to him. I want to buy some stuff that isn't for him. I hope I don't need more money than I gave him. Price free, okay. Pick the items you wish to bring with you. Alright. I figure that's probably plenty. And he can even eat the apple if he wants. Uh -huh. Oh, there. Okay. Hmm. So this is the dungeon. Just so, welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know, aren't we gonna hold Louie back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer, I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There's a protective field around the two- What? Why? The monsters, we may have well be invisible. So really? That's amazing. So Louie's perfectly safe too, then. Er, not quite. Nande? Oh, why not? Well, in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything inside this place. We can directly manipulate nothing. Uh, Wait, we can't collect things? Why are we here then? That's why our adventurer remains outside the field. So oh, I see, he'll pick up stuff for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Since we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything? But wait, I thought you said we can't Yes, I will elaborate further if I need if need be later. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool. Wait, as much as our bags will allow? 
Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventure focuses on adventure, while we keep track of what loot he should keep. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> K.O. Day. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. What did I, I hope my SP comes back? Well, yeah. Jesus. Health points. I don't even know. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> 